What is up, YouTubers? John's are here. Welcome back to some more Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Last time, we entered this train. We explored it a little bit just before we left off the last video. And we're on our way to get our next crystal star. So, yeah, we're just gonna, you know, explore a little bit. We've explored the front, and we're with Goombella, because, you know what? She hasn't gotten much of the story, and she, she should try to get some story in as well anyway so this is like our room I think this is our room right here yeah I think so I don't know it's either this room or the room next door I kinda of forget I think we're 105 yeah I think we're 105 yeah I think this is us <laughs> alrighty onward let's go this way and we have a little cafe area Welcome, welcome. This is the dining cart where you eat and staff. Some people on the train just so they can eat our yummy flavish food. And this trip we have is so fabulous distracted. Actually I can't tell if she's like gurgling or anything, like I don't know, ready to barf or singing. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I'm so here it comes to eat soon. Okay, you do that. Uh, what's on the menu, Chef? Hello, I am Chef Chami. There's, uh, hang on, I should do a French accent. Hello, I am Chef Chami. The sentry expects glad to make you a complaint. Uh, Capitains? I'm not good with literacy, by the way. <laughs> oh, I mean, acquaintances. So sorry. Cheap, cheap is the first language, you know? Today's lunch is so amazing, it will make your tongue cry out for sh in shame. Please do taste it, so that my position does not wither along with the lonely part. Nope, see ya. <laughs> so yeah, also in here, you can go inside and you can also, uh, get some new items if you want. So this is like a little store area. Uh, I don't really know if I'm gonna need any new items. I think I can at least get two more, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I feel like I might need that. Do I have some syrup? I don't have syrup, and I feel like that might. Oh wait, I actually do have syrup. Never mind. Uh, so I'll grab some maple syrup just in case. All right, I think our fillets are full, and I don't think we're gonna go through our inventory soon because well. Pretty sure, uh, we, like I said, we won't be really uh, doing much in the lines of battling. Hello, good sir. I am the one in the combat. Uh, Sorry. I am the one. I'm on. I am on my way back home. I have strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. Man, I am not good with reading stuff out loud. I can read them perfectly in my head, it's just out loud. Ugh. Uh, okay. I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive at Porchley's Heights. I'm traveling on a business, so everything goes as expected. Account. Yes. Oh, the expense account. Okay, everything goes to the expense account. Okay. Now I get ya. Uh, hello? Oh, you are the champion of the Great Split, aren't you? The Great Gonzales? Bond of Parsley's Heights. Well, it, it is certain a fitting place for a celebration like you. We are on the route to Parsley Heights. It's a b birthday present for little Bob here. Oh, my, 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 my. Yeah, I'm Bob, and... We're gonna get to my birthday present for me, and it's gonna be cool. Aren't you jealous? Uh, dude, I, uh, I have, like, what, how many crystal stars? Let me just check real quick. Oh, hang on, where, wait, how many is it? Hang on, I'm trying to figure out how many crystal stars I have. Oh, wait. I have, like, five crystal stars, buddy. I, I think I'm a lot better than you. Although I can't read, so. <laughs> hello there, uh, hello to you, and welcome to the XX Express. I am the conductor of this train. 
And I trust be Mr. Mario, room five. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good goodness me. If I hear anything, I will let you know immediately. Okay. Um. Anything happen in here? Oh! The rat is gone! That probably means everyone's probably at the uh, thing over here. Oh! Hello! What's going on? Hmm, yes, I can say without a slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what do we call it? Yes, the case of the pot super stew and the vanishing study in the mysterious. Indeed, that's what it do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a filthy mystery, so one that I can impact you all. What mystery? What a mystery? <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, a mystery. Oh wait, is that the cheap cheap? Yeah, that's it. A mystery, you say? Just said, and uh, um, exactly what kind of dish is that? Uh, I'm no pra- I'm gonna, uh, pra- I don't even know what that says. You likely would not have guessed it, but I am a detective. Oh yeah, because the magnifying glass, the bag, the bow tie, and the hat don't give it away. At the risk of any indivisibility, you might say I have certain knows of these things. And this little conductor, my dear fellow passengers, posed no challenge to me. Oh! The curtain clue in this case is also in the mysterious vulgar one that has happened. Is that our conductor uh, took the of the whole pot of stew and all and the essence of fa fans leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you, you glutened woman. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, have like no idea what you're talking about. Here, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear wife. I don't think that's what you do when you think it's somebody. I feel, uh, indeed, of practice, my attention skills. You understand, yes, sorry. Mm-hmm, very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be the case of worthy intelligence. Hmm, yes. Let me get, uh, let me get this straight. So what you, we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Ah, uh, this saying to for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. <sighs> you there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You sure are highly suspicious. I have sus- I have- just broken this case, and the true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad, the Zip Toad, no! Wait, Mr. Detec uh, detective person, you're just making stuff up. You do, is Tweety Geez? Tweety Geezer. Geezer! I can't say I deserve such a variable thrashing, but, well, what? Then who do I it um hmm. this puzzle depends on which covered steps. Um okay. I g oh. oh wait, there's something on the ground. A clue, a trace of something on the cup. Hey, this is totally looks like the spilled stew on the carpet. You can follow the trail to the thief, Mario. Hey, it might even be the same person who wrote that sticky yummy threat note. What makes you say that, Goombella? Introduction. Okay, thanks, Goombella. I can't remember. Goombella has that whiny voice that I gave her. 
Okay, follow the stew. Okay, stew, 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 stew. The stew ends here. Open up! What do you have to say, good sir? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa what do you want? Burr! I'm sorry about that. Uh, what were you we just saying? A pot from the kitchen. Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drop stew on the floor outside? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing through, so that looks like you won't find a thing. Hmm, you might say that, but what if we look in your drawers? Magazines. I just thought of the steamy chef coming in the smile, blending. There's something under the magazines. Oh, <gasps> the chili pot! We have our culprit! Duh! I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me! And the case is solved. So, you were the one embarrassed of all the stew that you wanted to steal the drovers more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shots, answer. Yes, yes, that's it, uh, right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never occur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the uncapped feral hair. My knees always in identify you as the correct person as a cough, uh, color ruffling. Now about that note in your room. Yes, I know. As the lone detective on the train, the conductor confronted in me. But we can't speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. So we'll get to know the sneaky no. Oh, and please return the pot of sh to the chef if you will. If you could, please. I don't want to seem like I'm the bad guy here. Justice has been served. No more stealing food. I mean, it's not like a diamond or anything. Oh crap, now a diamond's gonna get stolen. Wait a minute, the crystal stars. Something's gonna steal from us. Anyways, uh, yeah. This is, uh, go because the room number we have to go to is 106. We want to talk to the penguin guy. Is anybody gonna clean this up? So, you have found the beef. Oh, wait, I mean the thief. I am so joyful. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my word. You even have brought me my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thank you for me. Uh, I, I think I have a ship, and it's this, uh, the chef and his pot. That That's the ship I make. <laughs> Here is a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Uh, what... Why must I butter this language so? I'm so shameful. Please take it, I mean. Oh, got a star piece. Nice. Alrighty, so I think that's a good place to end it. And in the next video, we will talk to, uh... Crap, I don't even know his name. <laughs> I don't even know his last name. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, we'll talk to the penguin in the next video. The detective penguin, I should say. So, uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, press like button or subscribe, do whatever, and I shall see all you dudes in the next video. Oh man, I'm almost due for a level up too. Huh. See you guys next time.